Okay, this video is to show you the stoichiometry foldable so that you can build it at home. You can take an ordinary sheet of paper and you want to fold it so there's a column that's showing in the middle and this side is blank. When you open it, this side is blank except for having an equal sign just at the beginning and we can put an equal sign here at the beginning. <clears throat> Alright, let's look at the actual foldable so that you can copy it. Okay. On the first column, you want to have moles of given at the top. You would like to have a one at the bottom when it's closed. Alright, and the other side when it's closed should say number of moles of unknown in the middle. This is the mole ratio step with the coefficient number of moles of unknown on top, the coefficient from the equation to tell the number of moles of given on bottom. Pause this video and replay as much as needed. When it's open, number of grams from the question on top of the given material, again a 1 on the bottom. Here on the bottom, we're going to cancel grams by copying grams, which is going to be the molar mass here, though, of the given material here, with one mole of given on top. Then, mole of given, but this is going to be the coefficient number of moles of given for the mole ratio step here, and coefficient number of moles of unknown here. Okay, that's the same column that was there when we had it closed. Okay. At the bottom, it will be moles of unknown, and that will be a 1, just as this was a 1 here, 1 mole of unknown. But this is mole of, excuse me, that one was mole of given. This was 1 mole of unknown. One mole, one mole of unknown is made of how many grams? It would be the molar mass of what the unknown formula shows. When it's open, you get the answer in grams of whatever the unknown is. Just as when this was closed, we had the answer in number of moles of unknown. Okay? So, again, replay this video as much as needed so that you can copy this and follow along as I use this to demonstrate how to calculate stoichiometry questions during classroom videos and tutorial videos. Thank you.